right, Lebanon's parliament has passed its 2020 budget as it tries to lift the country out of a deepening economic crisis. Protesters had tried to block politicians from getting into the parliament to vote. Many rejected the budget as it had been discussed and amended by the previous administration. Riot police were deployed. Some demonstrators were physically removed from the parliament precinct. Let's go live now to our correspondent, Sarah Kairat. She's there outside Parliament, I believe, Sarah. Uh, and many of those protesting are complaining about the fact that this is a budget that was actually passed by the former regime, by the former authorities. That's correct, Martine. Now, they've just passed this uh, budget. It's the 2020 budget. It's much delayed because this was approved by the previous government. Uh, they had decided on it and they made changes to it in December. And then, of course, the protests happened, which delayed this budget getting through. Now, a total of 49 MPs out of 76 that were attending voted to pass this budget. Of course, there's 128 MPs in total. Now, the reason why there's a gap in those that attended and those that didn't was because some of them decided not to. They said it's unconstitutional to push this budget through. And the reason why they've been saying it's unconstitutional is depending on article and article uh, which stipulates that the uh, new cabinet must receive a vote of confidence first by the parliament before they can make decisions on big things such as the budget. Now, this was the fastest time in Lebanese um, politics where a budget has been passed this quickly. Of course, uh, because of years of uh, civil war as well, there's 10 years they didn't even have a budget that was ever approved. Now, protesters are not happy. And the reason why they say they're not happy is they said that the economic crisis is getting worse and pushing through this budget is not actually addressing the major problems that are happening within the Lebanese economy and the reasons as to why they're even protesting in the first place. All right, Sarah Kairat with the very latest from Beirut. Thank you.